got beauty light. Is everybody looking good? Yeah. Turn, I think mean, you should turn the lights out. <laughs> that can't be done. You've stepped straight off the stage and straight into these doughy head lights. Yes. Tell me about your role tonight. What did you have to do? Uh, well, I had to present uh, the Reader's Choice Award. And the winner went to? And the winner was Mao's Last Dancer. Um, and so I've just come off the stage from presenting that. I didn't have to get onto the stage for uh, my nomination, which was Best Supporting Guest in a TV Series. So I didn't win. Why? Um, Why didn't you win? Was that's but who? I don't know. Who could possibly be better than no, you? Could? Mind you, though, you do have a fair collection of trophies. Yes, I oh, look, I do. And you know what? It's going to sound really corny, but even just to be nominated and, and be here tonight, I kind of feel like I've, I've won. It was such a beautiful surprise, and I, you know, I couldn't have asked for any more. Anyway, and I didn't have to trip up the stairs because I think that's the. Uh, the greatest fear anyway. It's the greatest fear, but tell me a little bit about your character and the experience of working on it. Did you love it? I did. I mean, it was, uh, I guess, uh, such a change for me having gone from working on Home and Away for 20 years and, and playing a character that you can, can kind of make your own and is your own. Yeah. And Sally was the girl I played from eight years old and was a bit like me, really. So playing uh, Judy Kane in Underbelly was a, a unique experience for me because really you feel it. You feel obliged to do it well because uh, you know that character is a real person who still exists, um, and you kind of you want to do it right, and you want to do that person proud, and, and most certainly their family. So that was a, a little bit of pressure, but also made it really exciting and, and made me realise I, I want to work in television. So hopefully that's what I'm going to do. Well, you have always worked well under pressure. I know that if you were to be awarded for energy and effort and expertise, you would win it absolutely oh, everything. Oh, if only you were giving out the awards, Erica. <laughs> Apart from that, that you look rock solid gorgeous. But Thank you. Hopefully, you get to just unravel a little bit tonight yes. and enjoy the, the accolade, as you say, being nominated because you really do deserve it. Oh, well, thank you very and welcome much. Welcome back to the screen, oh, I thanks, say. Thanks, love. We love you. it. Off the airways, back onto the boxes. Okay, thank you. Thank